In, in the, the beginning, beginning, when God had created us, was the Word. But we were not yet who we were to become. The human mind was without that conscious spark, without that awareness of self, without the capacity to love or to turn away from our Creator, without a word on our lips or a tool in our hands. And God said, let us begin a conversation. And the, the word, word was, was with God. God. And the word was God. And a conversation started that has never ended to this very day. From the very first days of human interaction with God, technology and human advancement have been at the heart of the dialogue between the voice of the divine and the voice of mortal beings. From the very first cave paintings to our first steps on the moon, from the invention of the written word to the early scrolls and stone tablets, from the day when the first leather-bound book was made to the invention of the printing press, technology has been part of this conversation. From our great stone henges to the mighty cathedrals, we have sought to turn our thoughts of God into something we can see and touch. From the earliest marks and scratches made in clay to the supercomputers of this generation, we have sought to record our experiences of creation, to communicate our thoughts, to share them with this generation, and to store them for the next. Throughout history we have used technology to share our thoughts and experiences of God. And in this generation that conversation has become richer, deeper, faster, more complicated, with more dimensions and colours, more possibilities and more potential. And the fruit of the tree of knowledge opens for us the door to both good and bad. As it always has, so it always will. There are no good or bad technologies, just good or bad ways to use them. And this conversation continues through Christ. He, he was, was with God, God in the beginning. beginning. Through him all things were made. Without, Without him nothing, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. But in all these millennia, though we have sought to make the light that shines in the darkness, and though we have sought to step out of the darkness into the light of wisdom, the human race has not yet understood the difference between having a choice and making a decision. This is the conversation between us and God. These are the tools we have at our disposal. In the darkness. In the darkness. Not understood it.